We didn't go with the standard sink bulb. Uh, these are a little more decorative and they're intended to be like exposed since this thing doesn't have any kind of shade on it. Uh, so this is what that bulb looks like from uh, GE. last one detron did this i like that one okay <laughs> <laughs> welcome back everybody to another episode of detron does it of course i am detron and i does stuff and this week i am changing out this old light fixture in my entryway now inside this box is a new light fixture that i ordered from amazon and i'll be honest with you i was a little concerned that this box was so small when it showed up to my house this is supposed to be a large square um, rectangle ish light fixture and it came in a bunch of different pieces so i knew that i was going to have to do some assembly but Looking at these pieces, it didn't look like something that should hang in my entryway. Again, kind of concerned that it was going to be too small, but we're going to put it together and, and figure out what it looks like. So again, I told you it came in a bunch of different pieces. Right now, I'm just getting them all out of the packaging. Uh, it is fairly easy to assemble though. Uh, you've got four rods. They're going to go right into the base, and then you're going to put the top on it. Again, you're basically building a rectangle or a square, so it's not that difficult. If you follow the instructions, I pretty much just freestyled it because, I mean, why not? Uh, and then you have the actual light fixture portion that'll hang down from the top. So you do need to go ahead and thread the wire into this pole. Again, it comes with instructions, so I won't give you an absolute breakdown, but you can see on camera what it is that I'm doing to assemble the light fixture and then again, the cord that goes up. I made a mistake during this project. Well, I made a couple mistakes, but one of the big ones that I made was um, not cutting the cord before I put it up. Sorry, I should probably back up. What I'm showing you here is that these lights adjust, so you can adjust them to point up, or you can adjust them to point down, or sideways, but you just turn these nuts inside of the fixture, and that will allow for the lights to turn in whichever direction you want. Uh, so once that's done, uh, like I mentioned, I made a mistake by not cutting this cord sooner. It did work out that it gave me an opportunity to measure exactly how long I wanted my light to hang down from the ceiling. But if you already know how long you want your light to be, you could probably cut this cord uh, before you get started. That way you don't have to go back and fix it like I did later on in the video. So here I'm just affixing the top of the light fixture together and now that I got it together it actually doesn't look so small uh, and it looks like the kind of thing that should be hanging in an entryway so I was excited that I didn't have to take this thing back apart and send it back to Amazon but now we got to get this thing threaded through the chain and we're gonna have to put this thing up on the ceiling this is that part I mentioned where cutting the cord would be helpful if you know how long you want your light fixture to hang down you can measure that cord out cut it and remove the extra links from the chain that way you don't have to do it later this is what the current light fixture looks like next to the new one uh, and here's what we got to remove to be able to take our current light fixture down so we're going to get started on that by removing the fixtures that are holding the light bulb in place and that way i can take the cover and all of the light bulbs off and then next i'm going to focus on the top this part is fairly easy quick warning please make sure you go cut the electricity off and test to make sure that electricity is not flowing to this before you start undoing wires all right so you've got the ground here you've got your black and your white wires so we're just going to undo these two caps right here disconnect the wires that are connected to this lamp and then we're going to take all of this off then we'll reconnect the ones that we're putting up and that'll be that so hopefully what i said there makes sense but essentially you're taking the white and black wires or your live wires and you're disconnecting them from the wires that are connected to the light fixture uh, you're also removing the ground wire so that you can take this light fixture all the way off in my case it's a pretty simple process after you disconnect the wires you're just running these wires back through the holes so that you can completely remove the light fixture different lights will be different for your house potentially but all of it is just going to require you to remove the lights that are attached to the actual light fixture so here you can see mine is now off all right so we've got our black our white our ground 
So right here is the mounting plate for the previous light. This is our new mounting plate. We're gonna need to undo this one here, find holes to place this one in, screw it up in there, and then this wire will be our new ground wire. So this part is also pretty simple. You're just essentially going to unscrew the mounting plate that's already there. Now, uh, I've said this a couple of times, they pretty much slapped my house together. So I'm not always happy with the things that they did. In this case, they use a couple of different screws for the mounting plate. Again, it's in the ceiling, so it doesn't matter that much. But when you're replacing it and you recognize like, hey, these are mismatched, uh, you are sort of like, hey, what else did they cut corners on when they were building my place? But that's neither here nor there. After you got your new mounting plate, go ahead and install your mounting plate. Find the holes in the box that is already in your ceiling to install that mounting plate. Uh, so that's what I did here is got my new mounting plate in and when I did that I took my new ground wire wrapped it around the ground that is already located uh, in my ceiling that way now my ground is connected and you can see here that I am connecting my black to black white to white or my live wires and going ahead and cap those off once I cap those off I can find a way to move those back up into the ceiling don't forget to cap off your uh, ground wire there also Gonna move those up into the, the ceiling just a bit. Gonna loosen up the bolts that I need to put on the plate for the actual light fixture. Uh, and then screw that back on to make sure that there's a tight connection so that it doesn't fall. So as you can see with the cord all the way extended out or with the chain all the way extended out, that's pretty low. We would open up the door and it wouldn't fall right into our new light. So I need to adjust the chains up there at the top to pull the light up. And yeah, so that's what we're gonna do. Adjust it till it's the right height. So I'll tell you guys when I make a mistake and I definitely made one here. I thought I was just gonna be able to loop the chain and have some of this cord hanging down and it would look fine. I was wrong. I was absolutely wrong. I did check to make sure that there was clearance, um, but I eventually had to go back and fix that. All right, so the light fixture is up. These are sync bulbs, so they are smart light bulbs from GE. I already use sync bulbs in my studio for like my backlighting. So these can be controlled from your phone. You can turn them off, turn them on whenever you want, which allows us to not have to get up out of the bed to turn the light off if we forgot to. You can also do different shades of warm light or soft light. It can also be controlled by Alexa. We didn't go with the standard sync bulb. Uh, these are a little more decorative and they're intended to be like exposed since this thing doesn't have any kind of shade on it. Uh, so this is what that bulb looks like from uh, GE. I'll put a link in the description in case you guys are interested in picking these things up. So let's go ahead and get them screwed in and see if we can turn the power back on at our breaker box and see what they look like. So I'll tell you, the lights that are in my studio that I mentioned, those are the regular GE bulbs. These are the more decorative ones. I was not disappointed at all with the way these things look when they came in. They look great hanging up in this setup. Uh, went and changed uh, the power back on or turned the power back on. Flick the switch and whoa, that is right. All right, so the light looks cool, but I got a problem. My problem is I got all this extra wire. I should have cut this thing shorter. So as happy as I am with the install, I'm gonna have to go back up there and cut that wire so I don't have all that extra just cause it, it doesn't look very good. So let's do that. And that I did. I went back up, I took the light fixture down. I actually ran the cord back up. Luckily I already knew about where I needed it to be to hang where I wanted it to hang. And so I snipped the wire, had to rerun it all back through, splice the wires, connect the white to white, black to back, similar to what we did in the very beginning, uh, and then reattach the light fixture. And it seemed to turn out great. I like this significantly better than I did with the cord hanging down and too much chain still remaining. I did have to break one of the pieces of chain so that I can shorten it, but I mean, that's part of the course. 
So if you made it to this point in the video, I hope you appreciate the change that this light made in my entryway. As always, please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification button, get some alerts, find out when I'm dropping new videos. And if you decide not to like, not share, ever. or subscribe, you know what? I won't even be mad at you. Woo. Till next time, guys. Peace. is back. That's right. Power is back. Thank you. Thank you for the...